Giving is one of the most basic and rewarding activities that a person can do. It showcases your creativity while also provides a wonderful opportunity to gather with your friends and family. Even the most basic of recipes, if done well, can change an average meal into an event that you will remember. Uh, one such dish, one such recipe that I found was a bubatini carbonara dish that is as tasty as it sounds. It is quick, it is affordable, and can be done in three simple steps. The first step to making this dish is to make the sauce. You're going to need a large skillet, a very large bowl, a fourth of a pound of pancetta, and eight eggs. Saute your pancetta in your skillet over medium-low heat until the pancetta is a nice golden brown. Once golden brown, you take it off the heat, slice the pancetta into bite-sized bits, and set it aside in the large bowl for it to cool slightly. Once the pancetta is cooled slightly in the bowl, you then add to the bowl one whole egg and seven egg yolks, whisking everything together together to make a homogeneous mixture. Now that you're mostly done with creating your sauce, you go on to the next step, cooking your pasta. In a large pot of generously salted boiling water, you add your one pound of bugatini pasta. You want to cook your bugatini all the way through, which may take seven to eight minutes. And you know that your pasta is done when it is tender yet Firm. After making sure that you have reserved at least a cup and a half of your pasta water, you can then drain your pasta. Immediately after your pasta has been drained, you can go on to the final set or final step, the assembly. The assembly is the most critical of the steps, and you're going to need a set of kitchen tongs, a half cup of pecorino romano cheese, two teaspoons of freshly cracked black pepper, and your reserved fat and pasta water from the previous steps. Mm. Take your freshly drained pasta and add it into the bowl of your egg and pancetta mixture, and vigorously stir it together with your tongs. While you are stirring, add in your pecorino romano cheese and black pepper in small portions so that it is evenly distributed throughout the sauce. Afterwards, you can add in the reserved fat from the sauteing process or the uh, or and or or and the uh, pasta water to thin the sauce out to your desired viscosity. Afterwards, you can adjust the seasoning with salt to your liking with salt and pepper and enjoy the fruits of your labor. From the assembly to the cooking of the pasta to the making of the sauce, you can take pride in knowing that you made a delicious, authentic carbonara. This entire recipe can be done in under 30 minutes. All the ingredients are less than $20, and the easy three-step process will produce a near restaurant quality meal. Cooking is a great way to show off your creativity, and this is a perfect dish to showcase this. You can mix, match, and replace almost all of the ingredients in this and still come out with a delicious meal, like replacing the Pecorino Romano cheese with Parmesan cheese, or by replacing the pancetta with bacon. While this dish does not last very well in the refrigerator, it is a great dish to serve at a celebration or a special occasion with your friends and family. And there is no better sight after a celebration than to see their smiling faces in front of the now empty bowls of your mm -hmm. bar. Mm -hmm. Thank you.